there, my name is Zero in on Alex. You can call me Zero, you can call me Alex. Either or is fine by me. In the last episode, we actually beat the ghost type gym, struggled a little bit with the Gengar, but other than that, we came out victorious on top. I accidentally pressed the A button in between recordings. So yes, the little bow wow from the previous episode, go check it out if you haven't, uh, was the the little, the, oh my gosh, I'm forgetting its name, the little yamper from Sonya. Oh my god, Starbucks, look like my Yamper really likes you, huh? Anyway, we've run into each other at a good time. Oh my god, cause let's go get some Starbucks. You know the mural here in Stowe on side? It said, Stowe on side, really? It said to tell the story of the hero of Galar as well, though what's there today is actually a replica of the ancient art that used to be here. Cause Starbucks, duh, there used to be a Starbucks there, but they like tore it down and it's like, how am I supposed to get my mocha frappuccinos with this mural here? You tend to have surprisingly sharp insight. So I was wondering what you might think of when you see the ruins. Huh? <gasps> no. N what? What in the world was that? Oh my god, are they bringing back my Starbucks? Sounds like it came from the direction of the ruins, too. Oh my god, let's have a look. Come along, Gamper. Gamper's like, dude, I got stubby legs and I'm chubby. Leave me alone. <laughs> Let me be. Let my people go. <laughs> Alright, let's go heal up real quick. And let's continue our adventure. I don't think I'm gonna keep the Impidimp. Because I don't feel like there's a need to. I mean, he's cool and all, but I already got my fairy type coverage, and I was really gonna bring him for that, and I didn't even use him for what I needed him. So, look, we came out on top, and I know there's gonna be criticism. Cow's cra oh boy, Cow's crazy is gonna be all over me like, oh, you shouldn't have lost a single Pokemon. Look, I don't care anymore. I, I, I've done much better. All right, bye, Peepers. All right, we'll switch you out for our little, little. Elephant. Wait, I, that was Grayson. No, come back. <laughs> Grayson, come back. Grayson, come back. You can blame it all on me. I was wrong. And I'd something, something, something. I don't know. And th again, this is all one giant recording, so I still don't have a name for Q-Fan. Um, if you have a name for Q-Fan, let me know. Also, we're going to do it early today. If you haven't already, please don't just consider leaving a like. Take a moment right now and like this video. Liking this video is what helps this channel grow, and it also is a little bit of positive reinforcement to let me know that you guys are enjoying this, and uh, just in general, like the content I produce. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. All right, as we carry on, we're gonna put Teriyaki up in the front, and then we're gonna ride our bike. I like to ride my bicycle. I swear to God, if it's for a Starbucks, I'm gonna be a little, I'm gonna be a little PO'd. Oh my god, Starbucks! What's going on up there? Oh my god, Starbucks! They probably blew up the ruins, which is something that I feel like Team Yo wouldn't do. Oh, <gasps> it's the elephant thing. It's what, it's probably what my thing's gonna evolve into. Destroy it, destroy it all. We're gonna find those wishing stars. <laughs> That's what my elephant noise. That was a terrible elephant noise. We're going to bring the chairman more wishing stars if we want to please him. Kabraja! Kabraja! If you're truly the chairman's Pokemon, then you f should feel grateful for this chance to help him find wishing stars. Yo, is that what I'm gonna have? Dope. Oh my, you again. So you think you can start collecting wishing stars now and get into the chairman's favor? That's the way of things, is it? I see. So you do have some cunning in you. But I won't have it. I won't allow anyone to stand in my way. Oh! Just like that, we're gonna run into a battle. Let's go, Bead. Let's go, bro. I don't give a damn. Let's go. Duosion. It's about time your Pokemon evolved and did the level up thing. Let's go, Teriyaki. I felt safe leading off with Teriyaki, and so far it seems like it was the right choice. I think he has better special defense, but I'm gonna see how much Fire Pledge does. It does 50%, so another one will be enough. Go ahead. What are you gonna hit me with? Reflect? Oh no, so I used the correct move in special moves. Big whoop. Not afraid. Never lost. Fire pledge. Oh, so glad. Oh, he lived with like negative one HP. That's not that's not fair. That's not fair. He should be dead. Alright, quick attack. Really? Really? We're gonna do this now? I should have just stuck with my fire attacks. Cause now this quick attack's gonna do nothing. Uh 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 uh. Okay. All right, that's how we're gonna play this game. I'll play, I'll play. I should've just gone for the fire pledge. We would've been in a lot better situation. 
but it's fine. I know this is my physical side, so maybe that wasn't the greatest idea. But I still think... Oh, you didn't take it as well as I thought you would. Who's got the greatest physical defense? It might be Chui. 47, 67, 43. Wow, you don't even have that much defense as much as I thought you would. All right. Yeah. Wow, then what is q -Font good for then? I don't know. I know this is a lot of switching and nowhere near the plans that I wanted to be. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, baby. We're running out of reflect turns as well, though. Come on, Choi. You could have taken that better. Leftovers are definitely gonna help. All right, we gotta we gotta start chomping, man. Team reflect war off. Nice. Time to get in a free bite if he wants to put it back up. Or I'm faster. Nom 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 nom. Give me chicken. I want liver. Meow mix. Meow 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 meow. Q font 32, V 34. Nice. And I get a little lefties. All right, Choi, I guess we'll stick with you. You got the chompers. Hatrem. I'm gonna stay in? Mostly because I don't know why I'm fearing this thing yet. It's got a hat. Anticipation, okay. It's still psychic type. I think Bead only uses psychic type Pokemon. So another nom 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 nom. Chomper. All right, well. And I flinched it! Yes, let's go, Choi! And remember, like, two episodes ago, I said I wanted to replace him? <laughs> Choi's like, hold my shell! Nah. He said no. He's just coming in so clutch, man. See, that's the thing. I need to realize who's my special defense wall, which is probably going to be Vui, and my physical is Choi. But I, I need to know that, and I need to... I don't have enough time to just sit there and learn that. I could have checked their stats, but like in the recording realm, you just go, you know? Especially with a new Pokemon game, it's not as simple. I think Gother, I mean, he's probably gonna have Shy Shock as well. So I'll just stay in with Chewie. Cause the Shy Shock is really the dangerous. Oh, it's not even the, it's Gotharita, it's not Gothitel. Oh, I'm fine. The fa how fast is Chui though, man? Look at that. He needs like, Oh my god, he flinched him again? Choi! Bro! The MVP of this squad right now. Just eating stuff faster than I think you're gonna be. I don't know, man. I I, I thought all wrong. Oh, if he learns crunch later on. Ooh, don't tempt me. Don't tempt me with a good time. Don't do it, Choi. Galarian Ponyta? Stay in. I fear nothing. I have to win this for the chairman. Do you really think I'd let you keep me from probably winning? Huh. Yeah, because look, I mean, I love Galarian Ponyta and I want to catch one so bad, but uh, agility? Dude, you're already faster than me. Let me just say, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Kaplow. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Later, later. Ugh. This has to be some kind of mistake. I demand a do-over. I mean, Chewie's just still gonna be there. Chewie's gonna be like, hey man, what's up? But why? How could this be? How could someone like you get in my way? I was the only the one chosen by the chairman. I was the one who was supposed to defeat the champion. I was the one of the elite. Someone who could shoulder the future of the Galar region. Challenger bead. Or challenger bead. Oh. I wonder what you were up to when you asked to borrow Chairman Rose's Copperaja. I can't believe you tried to use the Chairman's Pokemon to destroy a historical site. Who cares for some ancient rule when the next thousand years are at stake? Did you stand in the path of the Pokemon Symbol Beam or something? How do you expect to support the Chairman with that sort of thinking? Young Bead. It pains me to have to say this, but I am truly disappointed. Oh, that's it? It's like, oh, oh, I'm disappointed. Boho! It's true that I am the one who found you, back when you were all alone. I saw talent in you. You reminded me a little bit of myself back when I was young. That's why I sent you to the trainer school, to give you a chance at success. But trying to destroy the mural, part of Galar's history, you show no love toward Galar. You are clearly not a worthy challenger for the gym challenge. We will decide what to do with you later. For now, you will return to Hammerlock. Oh, wow. Also, why is the elephant like- Oh, he's shocked. You- You must be joking, right? Is he gonna be stripped of the gym challenge? He is! 
is. Oh my gosh, he's being disqualified. You're disqualifying me from the gym challenge? But you're the one who endorsed me. There are a hundred different ways we could sort this out. Why are you choosing the worst possible option? Challenger bead. I will be taking those wishing stars that you have wishing stars that you have gathered. Wow, this game just got real. Like real intense. Ah, oh, Sonya and Zero Two. Terrible shame, all this. An absolute disaster. I never wish to see us lose challengers for this sort of reason. Yet we do not. We do. Yet we do what we must to keep things fair and sportsmanlike. Oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. I need some Starbucks to feel better about this. You know, during one of Bede's matches, I heard the announcer say that Bede has no family. Apparently it was Rose who took Bede under his wing, and so Bede was battling for the chairman's sake. Oh my gosh, Starbucks. What an awful turn of events. I hope the mural survived all that. Wow. That's a bummer. Oh no. Oh. The mural's gone. I mean, it was just a painting, so I don't really care. But I know, like, Matt. Whoa. Whoa, Zashian and Zamazenta statues. Mm-hmm. Man, I really wish I had a mocha frappuccino right now. Actually, I prefer a little more caramel. <laughs> ding. Does she add, like, a little ding sound? Really? That wasn't me. I didn't add that. That's her. A little ding. Oh. Not a brilliant turn of events, but the ruins were brought into the light for us to say. Oh my gosh. What does this tell us about Galar's legends? Sword and shield? I don't, I don't know. Stay hydrated, kids. Right? More than any hero, there's those things that appear to be Pokemon that stand out. Not just that, but the Pokemon appear to be holding a sword and shield as if they were using them. Oh my god, kind of like this game. Pokemon sword and shield. Seriously though, what are they gonna come up with after this game? Anything else look interesting to you? The hero was actually two people? Oh, good observation. There were two heroes. That sounds like Pokemon Black and White. But if that's the case, then why only one statue of the Beaudoo drop in? Hmm, true. Maybe they can combine together to form a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. Which means the sword is a Pokemon. The shield is a Pokemon. They're both Pokemon. Yep, I was thinking the same thing. Seems like at some point in history, the sword and the shield were combined with two actual Pokemon and treated as the same thing. Oh my god. But then what? They just faded from history? Oh my gosh, really need more Starbucks to think. Two young heroes, the sword and shield, were actually Pokemon. But why would the truth of these ruins be hidden with their stories were depicted in artwork? With your help, I really feel like we made a big discovery here. Thanks. I'll give you a couple of coupons to Starbucks. So keep giving it your best in the gym challenge too. Okay? KK. Love you. Bye. Okay, Sonia. Thanks. Thanks. I, I love Starbucks gift cards. I use them on the weekends. All right. I guess, well, that kind of, that is interesting. I mean, we knew going into this that there was Pokemon Sword and Shield. And we knew that Zamazenta and Zashian were the thing. Because those were revealed before the game came out. So I wasn't too, like, stressed, stressing on that. Well, that at least made things a little spicy and interesting. I can say that much. But let's go heal our Pokemon, and then we'll start heading to the right. See you guys in a second. Now that we're all healed up, let's see what this lady has to say. If you want to get to Balanail, you'll need to make the way through the Glimwood Tangle. The Glimwood Tangle? That sounds like something like of a forest? Is this where I get Galarian Ponyta? Cause I kind of want it. <laughs> I, I know I shouldn't, but I want. Oh, this looks. Oh, I'm getting flashbacks. This is that stream. And there's Impidimps over there. Wow. We could just catch Impidimp. Is he just chilling? Oh, they run away. Okay. Nice little. Oh. You're shiny. Wait, what? Oh, he wasn't shiny. He was just. Why? Question mark? What did that have to do with anything? It's not shiny. It looks shiny, but it's not. Alright, I'm gonna run. Because I have, I have no need to fight you. That was interesting, though. Very interesting. I guess that was your chance to... Oh, it was just the color change from that. Okay. Yeah, this, this place definitely brings back nightmares. <laughs> of, like, watching that 24-hour stream just to get a glimpse of Galarian Ponyta. What kind of Pokemon live in here? This is a new area for me. There's a Pokeball over here. 
All right. No, nothing yet. Oh, there's something in here. Oh my gosh, it's a it's a sin sinistry. It's the it's the Pokemon that's a tea kettle. You're a ghost type. It's the ghost light. All right, fire pledge. Hopefully you're not steel. I mean, you know, we'll 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 be back when we catch this thing. Well, that literally took one great ball, but we got sinistry. I just you know. I mean, I should take my time, but hey, I saw it, and I know Galarian Ponyta has to be in here. I don't know where, but I feel like it should be here. Huh, <laughs> I feel like I'm a walking contradiction. I'm not gonna catch any more Pokemon. Catch his new Pokemon. Gotta check out the other side, too. Whoa, Mr. Chef, though. M Chef Kawasaki, are you looking for mushrooms? They give off. Well, I mean, I actually do like mushrooms on my pizza, so, I mean, I don't need them to be there, but I'm cool with it. Like, I ain't gonna complain if it's there. You know what I'm saying? All right, whoa, we got three Pokemon with this guy. Let's go in then. I feel like Teriyaki has to be close to evolving. No later than like 36. I'm, I don't remember the last time a Pokemon evolved that late. But I don't know, Teriyaki, Teriyaki might be one of them, but maybe, I don't know. No, well. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Who knows? Maybe it'll be 38, 37. Who knows? Lucky number seven? I don't know. But we're getting close to evolve to leveling up. Sinistry. We just fought one of those, but we can definitely go into Grayson, because we haven't seen him in so long. I mean, it it probably is longer to you than to me. But I think I could use like a payback, because I know it's a ghost type. The ghost type! Yeah, see look. Oh, the brave bird just run in and gun it. Payback. Iza Biosh. I also don't think I'm gonna. I know, I keep switching my team around. But when I'm thinking about the elephant, and you guys have probably said this, but again, I'm like four episodes ahead of you guys. I think if he evolves into a Corviknight, he'll be a steel type. That'll cover my steel type coverage. So it's like, why do I need the elephant? Which leaves room for Galarian Ponyta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, 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 and I know it's an exclusive, that's why I want it, you know? Because Surfesh is cool in Sword. He's a little OP, though, but, you know, shit tonic. No, we're going to stay in. That's a Gen 7 Pokemon. Hello, fully evolved. Hello, fella. Brave Bird, because you're Grass and Fairy. See it, boom, and I'm going in Eagle. Eagle. <laughs> Look at that. Grayson, taking him out like the boss. Oh, recoil sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. Grayson, 34. Drill pick, hello. Uh, is it stronger than... Oh, yeah. Stronger than Pluck. Eh, what are the odds that it's going to have a berry? My berries. My berries. Grayson, you just keep getting better, buddy. Betty better. Bye, Chef Derek. You suck, apparently. Oh! <gasps> I was just talking about it. Guys, Teriyaki's evolving. I'm so excited to see what it's going to look like. And it, holy moly guacamole. She's beautiful. Though, seriously, check out her winged eyeliner, though. Is it because she's a girl? Because if this is supposed to be like a boy, too. No, nah, it fits her. Cinderance? Is that what its name was? Cinderace. 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 It's skilled at both offensive and defensive. Wow. No fighting type. Interesting. Pyro Ball. Ooh, exclusive move? Pyro Ball. Whoa. I mean, I'm down. <laughs> and it's physical, too. Ooh, do I really get rid of the flame charge, though? I like having my speed up, even though technically I don't think I'm going to have a speed problem anymore. I like having both, just in case. So, flame charge can go. Nah. Oh, but then... No, it's fine. I, I was going to use... It's fine. It's fine. If we needed the other one, we can go back and get it. But that's... That's mighty spicy meatball. Meatball soup. No? Oh, the, look. There's another one. He just chills there, though. I want Galarian Ponyta. Give me Galarian Ponyta. That's not Galarian Ponyta. I'm very upset. Oh my gosh, little Teriyaki, you're so pretty. I kind of want to see Pyro Ball, just for the giggles. Oh, 
guys. Oh my lord, that is dope. I'm sorry, I don't give a damn what any of y'all think. Teriyaki, you are so cool. I probably could have gotten rid of Quick Attack. Oh, she's like a soccer player. Oh my gosh, you're so cool. Sorry, I I'm, I'm in love. Easily the best, the best starter. Don't at me, you're wrong. No, the Thwacky, the monkey is not. I do like the Salamander thing, uh, the Sobble Final Evolution. It's kind of dope. I approve that message. I mean, the only one who hasn't evolved is Grayson. And I think Q-Fan, like I said, he might be replaced. Because if he finds out, because Corviknight looks, it's a knight. So if it really is a steel type, I feel like I had looked at it before. Like when we got the, the press stuff from Nintendo. So... Mm -hmm. Why would I need two steel types? Why would I need another vulnerability? Grayson and Vui would actually be a good match, I think. Actually, Grayson, Grayson, Grayson and Qfont. Even though it's because I don't know yet. It's the problem, and I don't know when he evolves. He could evolve late game, but I feel like him being caught so early shouldn't. Like he should evolve around like 35 as well. I'm gonna go with my gut and go with Vui and Grayson. That's what my gut's telling me. Oh, apparently I gotta shake that first. Oh, the railways are away are amazing. They can carry lots of people and Pokemon all at once. I came in on a Galar train. Galar train. Jacqueline and Robert, the daring couple. Ninetales and Curly. Ah, wow, what an interesting duo. I'm kind of glad I didn't go with the the, the Q font because uh, fire would have demolished him. Let's go for the drill pick. On the Ninetales, because I really do think a Shadow Ball is gonna knock out Curlew. I re wait, or is it part fairy in this game? Well, he incinerated us. Drill pack, get him, Grayson. Yoing, 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 yoing. Shadow Ball. Shadow -ball. I think it's part fairy, so this might actually not kill. Oh no, it kills. <laughs> We's like, hey, kill me? Who do you think I is? Like, did you not raise me to be a god? Ha! <laughs> Chewie has 69 speed. I guess Chewie's staying, man. It's hard to argue that. Drill pack. And a nice little... Uh, yeah, I guess a... Sh well, quick attack would probably be more efficient. Just PP efficient and just... I think drill pack will knock it out at that range. Oh, another incinerate? God damn you. Luckily we're not holding any berries, because that destroys your berry. Bye-bye, Ninetales. You are the weakest link. Mm, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. 35 for Vui and 35, 33 for Qvent. Whoa, Misty Terrain. Oh, no, I'm not a big fan of those moves. Just not a fan. Oh, not a fan. Not a fan. I feel like I should have a Grass type, though, as opposed to a Psychic type in that last slot. Go back, get an Eldegoss. I don't know. But, like, Galarian Pawnee tie. It's a, it's a My Little Pawnees. Yo, this is some maze type bananas. Wait, what? Oh, this was here too. Okay. Are there like secret passageways? Like a T. God damn it. Stop touching the stuff, see. Snore. What? Ah, sometimes I get annoyed even finding a TM. Because it's like, what's the goddamn point if it's just going to be snore? <laughs> it's quite the bore. The snore. Galarian Ponyta, where are you, my love? Oh, no, was that you? Was that you, my love? No, it's a fan top. Well. Sadly, Phantom is not on my list of Pokemon I want to catch. Galarian Ponyta is, though, but I feel like I shouldn't waste time searching for it and just, like, keep exploring. Do what I was going to do this entire time. Oh, there's, a, there's, like, a wall here. So that's on the higher up. And I know at the beginning there was, like, a hill or something. Hmm. Super Potion. Grayson. I just have a feeling that he's got to be close to evolving, and that would give me a good reason. But I don't know. I feel like a grass type would round out, but I have an electric type. What else would I need a ground type for? Or an ice type? Or a dragon type? What the hell? Indeedy. Wait, what's this called? Indeedy. Oh, this is a completely new Pokemon. I thought it was like Galarian, like freaking Audino or something. 
I don't know what you are, but I'm gonna hit you with the payback. Play nice? That's like play rough, but play nice? Okay, what does that do? My attack fell. Oh, well, is it super effective? It is. Okay, well, I mean, it was a nice try. It was a nice attempt. Really? But see, now I want that. I want this thing. Because it's a completely new Pokemon. I don't know. I thought it was an Adeno. I didn't know what the frick it was. Okay, gosh. Leave me alone. You can't tell me it doesn't look like Galarian Adeno. But it's an Inna DD. I'm just going to name it DD. Waffles is probably... I don't think he levels up, evolves anymore. Another NDD. Um, Let's send out the, the MVP of the episode. That was this episode, right? <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah, that was this episode. Oh my gosh, I've been recording so much. This is why I cut out some of the battles, though, for this exact reason, though. That, like, ooh, yikes, so many episodes, so much to record. Chompers! <laughs> you gotta love it, man. I would actually really like a dragon. I think that apple thing is a dragon. Whatever. Whoa, is that? Oh, it's the evolution of Impidim. It's called a Mor Morgrim. That kind of defeats the fun of out of it, don't it? I mean, I guess I could catch it, but I'd rather not. I mean, you're not, you're not, you're not my type. <laughs> you're not really my interest. <laughs> I, I don't know how to break it to you, man. There was an item at the beginning that I don't know how to go back and get. Luminous Moss. An item held by Pokemon. It boosts special defense if the holder is hit with a water type attack. Um, I mean, I guess. That's kind of cool. U turn. Now that is a useful TM. <laughs> a useful TM. Z, stop. <laughs> you are canceled from here. I kind of want to go back. I don't feel like I explored it thoroughly. Or was. Because there was an item. Or is there another part to the forest? These are the questions that I must answer. That I cannot leave the forest without knowing. I'm a little pissed about Galarian Ponyta not showing up, though. And if Galarian Ponyta is supposed to show up here, I'm gonna be triggered, triggered. See, how do I get up there? I'm gonna go ahead and assume that Grayson is gonna evolve at level 40. Just because he's a three stage or like 37, kind of like a Pidgeotto, I think, used to. Or did it evolve at 35? I don't know. All I know is that Grayson's not fully evolved now, so. I might have to end up spending some time here to make sure I can find what I needed. Yeah, that black path was the same thing. Okay. Well, anything over here? No? This looks like we're leaving the forest. Are we really that done? See? Like, hmm. Hmm. Whoa. Balon, Balon Lea. Balon Lea. Balon Lea. Oh, are you a fairy type, Jim? That'll be fun. <laughs> or psychic? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Lol, lol hello. Well, well, look, there's Pokemon just like chilling everywhere. All right, well, let's go to the Pokemon Center. We'll rest up and uh, we'll call that an episode. I think we made progress. Let's see. If you if you get lost in Glimwood Tangle, it's probably the work of a fairy type Pokemon. Yeah, so this is probably going to be a fairy type gym. Uh, yeah, then uh, Waffles is going to be an ace, man. Great. Good stuff. All right. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, leave a comment down below. And I guess Steel Type would be good too, but I mean, he doesn't have any Steel Type moves. So, oh well. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, leave a comment down below. I can buy Hyper Potions now. Nice. I'm going to buy a couple more Super Potions just to round it out. I got cash. I got stacks on stacks on stacks. I think that's it. So I might go back in the forest, chill out, maybe find a Galarian Ponyta, who knows? What type of Pokemon should I get? Should I go try to find a dragon, you know, ice? I don't know. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Until next time, my beautiful- Oh, I wouldn't need drag. I wouldn't need dragon or ice. Because I have a fairy to defeat dragon. Anywho, if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, leave a comment down below, and until next time, my beautiful people, it should probably be a grass type. Anywho, bye!